With Canelo still reigning supreme in the super middleweight division, the weight class faces a new landscape following the exits of David Benavidez and David Morrell Jr. as they ascend to light heavyweight. This shift leaves Mabili and Pacheco as the rising contenders vying for the coveted title. Pacheco, in the midst of his development, steps into the ring against Uleki, a seasoned 35-year-old journeyman who has tasted defeat against elite opponents such as Daniel Jacobs and Andrade in a sole shot at the middleweight world title. This marked Selecki's second bout at 168. Considered a developmental fight, Pacheco, a vibrant 23-year-old, standing tall at 6 foot 4 inches with an impressive 79-inch reach, aimed to refine various facets of his skills. While his reputation was that of a rugged brawler and a knack for knockouts, he sought to broaden his strengths in the ring. From the opening bell, Pacheco unfurled a fresh strategy distinct from his past all-or-nothing approach, opting for a nuanced approach by initiating the belt with fluid footwork and a focus on a long jab. Circling clockwise, his offense was spearheaded by his commanding lead jab. This not only created distance, but effectively placed Selecki at the end of Pacheco's punches while also ensuring Pacheco remained at a Selecki's range. Armed with superior reach, Pacheco astutely capitalized on his physical edge, laying the foundation of what was next to come. The straight right cross. After securing his distance with his long jab, Pacheco seamlessly transitioned into executing his straight cross. This quintessential one-two combination exemplified the finesse and power of a lanky fighter. With the jab keeping Selecki at bay and a cross to land at the end of the punch, where it's most powerful. With Pacheco keeping his distance, he was even able to pull Selecki out of position to counter with his right cross. Through circling clockwise, Pacheco skillfully orchestrated a tactical offense, deploying his jab to guide Saluki right into the path of his waiting right hand. This calculated maneuver exemplified Pacheco's ability to dictate the flow of the fight. By the time the fifth round unfurled, Pacheco had unequivocally asserted his dominance within the ring. With a firm grasp on control, he stood poised to elevate the tempo and turn up the gear to another level. Transitioning seamlessly into his innate rhythm, Pacheco seamlessly strung his punches into fluid combinations. Each strike seamlessly flowing into the next with lethal precision. Suleki found himself ensnared in a relentless onslaught, reprived as Pacheco orchestrated a relentless symphony of calculated aggression. With a loop and long shot. Throughout the fight, Pacheco engaged in the strategic dance. While tactical acumen was undeniable, there was one missing element in his arsenal. Body shots. The moment Pacheco unleashed a perfectly positioned body shot, Suleki crumbled to the canvas, his face sealed by the unyielding force of Pacheco's well-placed kidney shot. It went around the elbow. It wasn't that he was aiming at the limit. After Suleki went under the right cross, Pacheco paused for the body to open to perfectly time the left hook to the body. A big left hook shot. Watch this. There you go, you pickpocket a bot, took the wallet. <laughs> Defensively, I would have liked to see more from Pacheco on the technical front. He mostly pulled straight back each time Selecki engaged. However, he did pivot and circle out when his back was too close to the ropes. There were a handful of parries, but the majority of his defense leaned towards the static guard. Experience veteran. The inevitability of taking hits on boxing is bound to happen. But Pacheco found himself on the receiving end of a few well-placed shots that landed flush from the smaller main. Some due to Pacheco's habit of pulling straight back out of the pocket. But the best shot from Suleki was due to Pacheco forcing his combinations and over-engagement. Pacheco soared to a resounding victory, showcasing his formidable power that has consistently shown in his previous bouts. A notable shift was observed as Pacheco strategically set up his shots with precision, leveraging his reach advantage and utilizing his jabs to control the distance against Suleki. 
The evolution of his boxing acumen was evident as he seamlessly intertwined his solid power with strategic approach. While Pacheco's potential for a future world title challenge is undeniable, caution and patience are advised in his development journey. At his tender age, a gradual progression is key to honing his skills further before taking on the likes of Plank, Mungia, Mbili, and especially the conqueror of the division, Canelo. Pacheco's future shines bright with his offensive approach standing out as a foundation to build upon. I'd like to see him work a little more in defense and pacing, which will undoubtedly elevate his game to greater heights as he continues to evolve into a well-rounded fighter. Position yeah. and pain. The legs are gone, man. The body shot takes your legs.